Hey, Sound from Tom's Tunes. We are here with this 1997, yet again, another double-decker. This is a 24-foot boat. It's eight foot wide. So back in 97, it was kind of hit or miss whether it was gonna be eight or eight and a half. This one is eight foot. It's got the upper deck. We're gonna actually tear the upper deck apart, put new vinyl on that, and move the ladder to the back corner behind the driver's seat. So it's definitely gonna be some changes happening to this boat including new beige railings, the luxury beige with tan diamond inlay. We haven't done a video with those seats yet. I think you're gonna love them. It'll get a tan woven vinyl. Basically just bring this boat up to speed. It's got a great 90 horse Honda four stroke outboard on it. So no need to mess with that. It's a great motor, great potential, big pontoons. We're gonna make this happen. Let's go inside and take a peek. This is what happens when a big wave comes over the bow takes out your front panel, but hey, then you get a see-through door. Oh, we'll make sure that the door doesn't, uh, doesn't hit the seat. You can see the cushion's actually chafed, worn from that. It's getting that vinyl weave. It's gonna get a little different seat layout. We're gonna end up getting rid of the starboard door, extending seating here. We will have seating all the way back to the port door when we redo it because the ladder is going to be out of the way and in the back. No more sort of bar. You can see we always joke. We ask if anyone actually ever used their faucet when we get them on pontoons. And this one, obviously, they stopped using it or gave up on it because the faucet spout is missing. Otherwise, you know, the boat's lasted this long. It's been well taken care of but it's just not the perfect layout. Actually, if you come all the way back, you got a really tight access here to get to the back and you can exit the stern. There's a swim ladder out back, which will still have a swim ladder on it, but I have to lift a cushion, open a, an accordion style door, then I can get out this teeny tiny little door here to go swimming. So we're gonna actually end up moving the motor and transom back, giving a square across back to get all 24 feet. New sun deck. We're excited for this project like we are with all of them, but the double deckers are just a little added fun. Double the fun. Right. Let's get started. This boat is all stripped down, all 24 feet of it, and it's become pretty regular practice for us to move everything back. This was pretty straightforward, pretty simple, because we were able to leave the cross members attached to the transom and just move them back from here, and they all fell right in place. And there was actually even already a hole for this one to drop in. So almost like that was an option, not sure, but it worked out great. And then, I swear it's all of these older pontoons. This thing's 25, 26 years old. This back little piece of sea channel, it's not little. I mean, that's like 3 16 or quarter inch walled uh, sea channel, all three of these. But before we added this square tube, this one had a really good, I bet it was close to a half inch to an inch dip in the middle. And this boat's rated for a 115. This is a 94 stroke. So. You can imagine if you go to a brand new big 115, it's probably gonna weigh even more. But I had to add a cross member here because we slid everything back. So easy to do when the boat's taken apart and that is the time to do it, no doubt about it. So now we're gonna get this thing decked and vinyled so that we can move ahead with the rebuild. Gotta get this on the water for 4th of July weekend. The upper deck is fit back on. Railings are getting started. Time to mock things up, see where it's gonna end up laying exactly. Here's an update on the double-decker. 
Upper deck is back on. We've got seats in, screwed down to the floor. Holly is working on seat covers, looking good. We also already have the fuel system in. Our battery system, we're waiting on some wire. There's a deep cycle for the stereo system. There's gonna be a four channel amp, four nice upgraded speakers, and then our starting battery, and there'll be that four position switch. Of course, water fuel separator. We're gonna take a break from working on the boat, and I'm gonna jump over and work on the console over there on my table. This is my tool of choice. It's a plug-in Dremel. Get the plug-in one. Not as convenient as the battery powered, but you probably won't even get through the whole console, let alone seat bases for speakers and everything else, unless you have this. And the big thing is this drill bit attachment. It's a multi-cutting. It's like four bucks and it is phenomenal. Try and get it to focus here. But that little multi-surface cutting bit is fantastic. It cuts right through this stuff. Keep two hands on the Dremel the whole time so it doesn't wander on you, but this thing works great. Cuts out stuff like that for my steering system, control box, switch panel, gauge panel, glove box, stereo, and I'll use it for my speakers. I just cut always on the inside of the lines. That way I leave a little bit of that marker line. That way I know I can always take more off. I haven't figured out a way to add more back yet. The dash is coming together. We've got our stereo system. So this is all JL audio. It's a four channel amp. And we've got four of their high end speakers. Awesome speakers. The customer sent those to me. He picked everything out and we're installing it. So really simple system. It's just supplying heavy enough wire. This is four gauge wire to the amp. You've got your speaker cables coming in and then our RCA cables going out to the stereo to the Garmin head unit. Basically a, a friend of mine described it and we could run these speakers without an amp but it'd kind of be like running a sports car on regular unleaded. You just don't get what it's capable of unless you're running on premium. This is our premium. It's an addition. It does draw a little more power but it's well worth it because this thing sounds great. We just finished this project. It's strapped down to the trailer, ready to go. Got a couple hour drive north to deliver it. This boat came in, it's a 1997 Sun Cruiser, double decker, and we completely changed it. You wouldn't even recognize this boat other than it's still a double decker. We did the tan woven vinyl flooring, so super low maintenance. Water's gonna run right off, it dries fast, and it's easy to clean. LED docking lights, LED navigation lights, new deck trim from pontoonstuff.com. This is a quick way to make your boat look really, really sharp right away. On the back of the boat, we have the heavy duty stainless ladder. This is a great ladder, four rung, as you can see, it goes all the way to the floor here, so plenty deep in the water to get on for everybody. And folds right up, flat down, and you're ready to go. The other thing that we added is this tow bar. So it's a ski tow bar. It's good for skiing, wakeboarding, tubing to a certain extent, but we have it on our boat and we love it. It works great. We're gonna go on the inside of the boat and take a look at what we did there. As you can see, we did the luxury beige with the tan diamond inlay. Lots of storage underneath these seats. There's a bunch of bumpers and an anchor in here. The front 30 inch corner seats open up for lots of storage too. Just a really, really sharp look, super comfortable. When you sit on these, we get asked a lot, how are these different than the premium and the classic? These have a way more plush back with this pillow top, a nice soft pillow top. The Butt cushion extends farther forward, giving you a little more support, a little more plush cushion here as well. Just a really comfortable seat. 
and they look amazing. This is one of those things that I think people don't realize how much storage you get out of these lean backs. This is the luxury lean back. That's a ton of room in there. We call it our snack cabinet. It's a great place to put things that people need to get to quickly because if I'm sitting here, I don't have to stand up just to get a towel or a life jacket or anything out that I use frequently. I can open it, grab it, and go. Maybe it's a bag of chips. We do that a lot. Moving on back, big, long 55 inch bench into a little corner seat. Lots of room to hang out. There's a removable table. The triangle table goes here, so it doesn't restrict the flow. We've got a really decked out console. If you come around, take a peek. Reclining helm chair. And then the console has the Burlwood accents. So this is the gauge panel in Burlwood as well as the switch panel. This boat got a lot of extras. This has the docking lights up front. It has interior LEDs under all the seats. So really nice, cool feature when you're cruising. And then it does have an upgraded stereo. Customer provided an amplifier with upgraded speakers too. So really nice sound. Something you could do on your boat too. Glove box for storage, lots of room in there for keys, owner's manual registration, and then lots of storage in the back here. We did a new gas tank, water fuel separator and filter. We've got videos on installing those. It's a must have on any boat. This boat has a four position switch. We've talked about these in the past, but a great way to make sure that your battery is not gonna leave you stranded by having two batteries and being able to run them strategically throughout the day, whether you're motoring or parked and listening to music, using the lights, that sort of thing. For the ladder, we moved it. That's one of the biggest changes on this boat. The ladder used to be on the port side in the front and it made it for a really small seat up front, kind of a goofy layout. We were able to move everything forward a little bit and then we were able to put the ladder right behind the captain's chair. Still plenty of room to walk through, great flow. We can open the door and leave it open to allow for swimming and everything else. Change the floor plan too, to where now I can walk across the back of the boat safely, comfortably. I can board it from either side. These are the types of improvements that you can make to your boat with a little bit of reworking, a little bit of ingenuity and some hard work. Thanks for watching.